car, Fiji years ago, take. how many people was involved? Venue, black ship show, performance cancelled, don't know why. Being insulted, Crispo, I don't know why. Got stabbed, went to the hospital, saw my scar on the face, came back to the scene, got bumped, lay down on the ground. GMP Kumbi stood next to me, started kick, niggas jumped out, Dixa, Dennis, Crispo. Crispo. Those are only the people that you recognize. Those are the people that I recognize. And there were still others more. I was laying there helpless, helpless. I couldn't move. The only thing that could probably move was my eyes. See you, nigga. See you. That's not. So the Mizali for 20 money that I've flown. It was really messed up, car, really. Crispo, what you guys did, man, what GMP did to Jericho, really, that, that's really messed up, man. You don't hurt someone like that for a simple thing, man. That's, that, that, that way of trying to hurt someone, that is like when somebody did something very bad to you, man. And you know, being, being successful in your career, is that really a, a crime? They are the ones that invited Jericho over there. Jericho. For that show, it's, for, it's because of them I came to the show. I would have not been because of, it's because of Black Sheep. And that's why I told Gaza, I told Gaza, Gaza, when he started, when Gaza started acting up on me, I told him, bro, Jay and Zox's story is a story. Don't get me involved. He started getting pissed. I told him, Gaza, I'm not here because of you. I'm here because of Black Sheep. Black Sheep brought me here. And now you're telling me you paid him Zeke Zeke $30,000 to be here. He has to perform. The police is about to close. I cannot perform. How do you see my status? So basically to me, to you, I mean nothing. Whatever I do in this life to succeed, it doesn't mean anything to you. And the funny thing is, bro, you... Ah, oh. uh, No, the thing I want to... Uh, the question I want to ask Gaza personally. Gaza, you know, through the fire, Jericho rose up like a phoenix, man through hate, jealousy, even then he didn't retaliate. And you know Jericho like that, man. Why can you not even come to your own friend, the guy who you did things together, the guy who you made songs together? Why can you not even come and apologize to the guy, or at least just come and give your sympathy, man? What's on behalf come, of GMP. Or at least come find out now, my story then, because yeah. I know your boys told you was your story now. Now you claim that GMP has yeah. nothing to do with the incident, but yet, all that you, all the, the, all that the ones that says GMP never said about this story. But why is GMP not? Nobody's you coming to me. The only nigga I respect right now is Black Sheep for calling me and trying to find out how my conditions, how am I doing? Which actually makes me feel like he was probably even sent to find out information to see and, how I'm doing. And the other question is, if GMP is not involved in this incident of Jericho, why is there not one GMP member ever who came and asked Jericho what's going on? Why are they withholding their sympathy? So it means that either they enjoy it or they planned it or what? Because I don't see any GMP since we've been in hospital for two days. We never heard from any GMP member or, or Gaza himself. So Gaza, if you promote violence, it's okay. But Ghetto Child mm -hmm. or Izinyoga will never retaliate mm -hmm. against you because we don't promote violence. We will never take what we've built and destroyed because of you and Crespo. And now I just want the public to see you for who you are, man. I'm just glad Jericho is alive to do his thing. And no matter what, but you will never stop this guy. There's going to be a lot of albums coming out. He's still going to be successful. Just do yourself, man. Pray for yourself. Pray for your people, man. And stop influencing your crew members to do this type of things to artists like Jericho and other, all the other artists that you have backstabbed. And start being a man and come out. Stop hiding behind your shell, man. Stop using these innocent kids, man. Stop using street kids to do your dirty work. Peace. Tixa. Tixa Plama. The other day, another. I get my call, Vicky. She from me for high, bro. She come from jealous offices of. No complaint them, you guys are cocks on my jelly play. So I have a similar story, I guess, a jealous story. So far from me, if it takes a help, I'll get care of Jimmy in the door of Pancre. Jay, Pons, and Chakalaka. I get up, Jelly. Wherever I could, I've always helped you. 
And it's funny. It's fucking funny, my bro. Because you have a dick size upstand and feel too, but I stay out scope. While I'm laying there, after being pumped by a car, helpless. Scope, you me, for fuck of me. Als ik nou opsta en vraag van waar is je mega scoop, zullen ze me niet gaan zien. Zullen ze staan op zullen gaan maken zakken tegen mij, hoe op andere handen zakken. Dat wil ik nog niet. Dat was niet kans voor mij om voor een van jullie ook met een feest te gaan slaan. Ik heb niks kans gehad niet. De eerste incident van die tijd dat ik gestikt is, is ik teruggetrek. De tweede incident is ik vloog gestampt. Niet vloog gestampt, is ik gestampt. Daar ga ik Die komt scoop zullen me. Dat was niet tijd om nog feest te slaan samen jullie niet. I don't even know. I know you guys are trying to pack up things. I know you are trying to look innocent. But I know and you guys, you know who's the innocent one in this one. As I said, I'm going to pack it up. Red up, man. So I'm going to get a great one. 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 Actually, my little cousin, man. I'm going to get a great one. Ik wil ons in mijn scoop, mijn broer. Het met leven je oor mee om geleid. Laat die laten lama van ons scoop. En nou, die nigga zegt de kassen stand up en open cases against me. It's alright. Ik hoor die anderen in het plaat van zei, waar zijn lawyers voor de reply en respond? They know they ain't got nothing to you. You know you ain't got nothing to say. Back it up as many times as you want. But you know, and I know, you ain't got nothing to say. Apart from apologizing. I will take your apology if you ask me before it is. I will. But you know. Tell the story differently to your fans, to the people that believe it. But you know. I know. You and I, we know what happened. me have a plan. Tell me have a plan. I'm also feeling weak, man. I think I have to. And you guys, man, stop spreading rumors about Jericho being stabbed. That Jericho trying to stab you guys. Because there is no way that Jericho could have stabbed you. He didn't have access to any weapons. We were searched when we came into the game. They searched our cars. They searched Jericho. You even treated Jericho like scum, man. The guy is a uh, Namibian artist. You made him to go stand between fans while you had a VIP 10 there, exclusive for, for artists. You didn't even tell us about the VIP 10. You made us to stand between the fans. Any fan had access to come to the uh, to the backstage to do what they wanted to do. The security guards were not even there to protect the artist. You didn't even offer Jericho any water or something. He had to buy his own water. And he did the show even for you guys as a favor because of respect and love for GMP. And now you GMP guys, you cannot even have the decency to come and just say sorry for what you've done to us. You've destroyed my hand. It's going to take a lot of therapy for me even to to work my hand well again. But you don't even do that. You don't even ask what happened to you guys. How are you doing? And you made the street kids, the street kids even say that you go and open a case against Jericho while Jericho is the one who, who made the street kids, man. He loves the street kids. He grew up with the street kids and now you guys turn the street kids against Jericho, man. Gaza, when are you going to stop, my friend? Stop hiding behind your shell, man. Just come and apologize to Jericho and let it be over, man. Because not even one member or fan, whoever of GM, uh, 